It needs to be said, okay? It needs to be said. Oh, lipstick. Would it be? <laughs> I'm okay. Would it be a YouTube video if I didn't have lipstick in my teeth? What am I doing with my life? Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're coming back to my channel, and today is not the most exciting video. Um, I've kind of been dreading filming it, but it, it needs to be said, okay? It needs to be said because if I didn't say this. <laughs> If I did not make this video, you guys would be so out of the loop, you'd be very confused, and we just don't want that, okay? So today, I'm going to be updating you guys about my life, why I'm not posting a bunch of college videos, why I, like, just kind of don't know what I'm doing, you know? We're gonna be talking about it today! <laughs> I'm currently sitting in my car because, you know, I wanted some privacy. Sometimes I just want to be able to scream at a camera without people hearing me, you know? We're gonna be talking about my life, everything going on, and without any further ado, let's get started. Oh my gosh, what is going on? It's Attack of the Lipstick. <laughs> I posted on my Instagram story asking for you guys to ask me some questions about what's going on in my life right now in college and everything so I will be going off of those a little bit but you know first we're gonna address the main point of concern the main reason why I'm not like oh like oh like posting all the time like oh like fun videos like oh as you could probably tell by the title of this video I am no longer going to school in person instead I am learning from home probably for the rest of the school year <sighs> I'm a freshman, so I was looking forward to all the dorms. I literally went dorm shopping, got 90% of my dorm stuff, and then I got an email from my school saying, you can't come on campus. Lipstick. Not the time, Jenna. Not the time. Oh my god. So uh, I basically got an email from my school saying I can't come to campus, which, you know, I was kind of worried about going to school as it was, but I had been looking forward to college for so many years, like even in high school. I think even before high school, I was like watching dorm room tours, like, oh my god, I can't wait till I go to college. And now I'm finally a freshman. I finally picked my school. I'm really hyped about it. I'm excited for football games, dressing up, you know, obviously my education. You know me, that's my main priority, people. Everything, the whole shebang, like the whole hype of it all. And so I was really excited. And then everything happened. I feel like most schools are like, you know, allowing you to live in the dorms, but Michigan State is known as a party school. Between that and like obviously situations was the main thing, but people weren't going to be responsible. I was going to be responsible. Like I was not about to go to a party. Thank you very much. I was about to like hang out with my roomie. Hey, Rachel. <laughs> I just wanted to experience something instead of nothing, you know, but instead 10 days before I went to campus I'm forced to stay home. That's kind of put a damper on like That's kind of been like I just Put a damper. Is that an old person thing to say? Am I saying like a very like motherly thing to say by saying that put a damper on all of my plans? E whatever <laughs> whatever I'm a mom at heart okay I was looking forward to all of the YouTube videos you know I was so excited like I was gonna be on my game now I really don't know what to post like at all because I'm literally sitting at my desk all day and then I watch Vampire Diaries and then I sleep so there won't be any more dorm shopping videos for this year there won't be a dorm haul no yeah there won't be a dorm haul this year I'll probably just post one next year because at this point it's way too late in the game anyway like back it up back it up way too late obviously there'll be no movement vlog there'll be no vlogs with Rachel my Rui I'm really sad I'm just sad about it okay like I was gonna show you guys everything about college you don't know, take you long be all hyped you know all that but no obviously I was worried about going to school anyway so I guess this was the right decision well it wasn't really my decision <laughs> it was Michigan State's decision but I am glad that they care about their students it's for the best ultimately and considering over a thousand cases when we're not even on campus just from the people partying who are off campus please don't party if you go to Michigan State or any school please don't party and ruin it for the rest of us please so if you don't know I am studying filmmaking which is very exciting it also makes me nervous knowing everything going on in the world right now like California is like literally burning up the current climate situations are kind of worrying me about moving but you know what I want to be a boss in the film industry okay I don't really know if I want to work in a film or TV right now I'm kind of leaning towards TV but I feel like the concepts I have for like script writing and stuff are more film based so I feel like I'd work in both I really want to write a movie or a show at some point <gasps> I really want to do script writing but I also want to do more hands-on things like on set and stuff <gasps> and I want to go on the reality show Big Brother when I'm 21 I'm going
going to apply and I think it'd be really fun to like edit for them like edit all the guys I feel like I'd be good at it I'm good at like characterizing people and making them look a certain way hence to how I only include the crazy clips of my mom <laughs> catch me on the movie screen Woo! <laughs> Then I guess I'm just gonna talk about my classes and stuff like someone asked what classes I'm taking I have two film classes, which is really nice and I'll be using Adobe Premiere Which is what the filmmakers use. That's what some of them use in the industry and I'm like, okay so We're gonna be learning something beyond iMovie. Maybe my YouTube videos will be like Next level, you know what I'm saying? And I have a math class and a psychology class. For the ones that aren't film concentrated, I don't mind the fact that everything is online because I'm like, I could do it at my own time. I don't have to go to a lecture. The film ones, I do wish they were in person. Especially my class where I am literally making things. It would have been really nice to interact with people and uh, make films with other people instead of being in my room and doing that kind of stuff. It kind of sucks. It sucks, but it's what we gotta do for now. Someone asked if I prefer... Oh, I'm doing the Debbie Ryan. <laughs> Someone asked if I prefer college or high school and then they said I love you so much I love you too right now because I don't have any college experience I'm gonna say high school but I like college classes better because everything you know you choose what you want to do and everything is way more chill and laid back I like the format of college better and being more independent and I will love college so much more than high school when I actually get there and I actually like have friends you know right now I talk to some people but like not much you know cuz I'm not on campus you know it's hard to hold conversations on your phone and I want to say Rachel you're the real MVP <laughs> I miss the events and stuff of high school, but I wouldn't go back if that makes sense. Like, I am really excited for college. I'm glowing. Why am I glowing? I'm gonna kinda ask what I'm most excited to do once I live on campus. Everything. I'm most excited to meet people. Meet people that, like, embody my vibe and my energy, you know? I wanna be around like-minded people who wanna do really big things and who, who push each other to do better. Also, really excited for literally any event, but I'm really excited to go to football games. Like... I still don't really know how football works yet, but they are still having football So I'm gonna watch that and have my dad teach me because I can't go to a school football game at Michigan State And not understand the game like high school, you know, I kind of did but I got away with it college Rest in peace headphone users. Sorry if I just scream in your ear I cannot just get away with not knowing football in college like even if I'm not a big football person I want to know okay i want to dress in these cute outfits cheerleader skirt like the game bibs overalls you know i want to be hype about it also really excited just to be on campus you know literally anything here's a great question someone said omg how's that girl rachel doing i heard she's sweet but psycho oh she's sweet but a psycho a little bit psycho <laughs> So if you guys don't know, Rachel's my roommate, and it was definitely not her who said that. Definitely not. Why am I talking? Definitely not. <laughs> Rachel, she's great. She's the best roommate, even though I don't even live with her. She lives over on the West Coast in California, so I haven't even met her yet. And it's kind of sad. I was excited to meet her. She might come to Michigan. Everything's just complicated with the state of the world right now. If everything had been normal, I would have met up with her at Disneyland over the summer. I miss our ice cream photo shoot days that haven't even happened yet. I'm really sad that I'm not rooming with Rachel right now. So Nicole first said, do you wish you were on campus right now? Of course I wish I was on campus right now. When I was a little girl, I actually wanted to go to Michigan State really bad. When I was a freshman, I put green Christmas lights in my window and I said, maybe this will give me better odds at getting into Michigan State. And here I am, enrolled in Michigan State, but not on campus. Another person asked what my schedule is like. My schedule is mainly during the middle of the week. I really only have two classes that I have to actually attend lectures for. One is at night and one is at like 8 a.m. like in the morning. So I'm tired for both of them. I kind of like the morning because I don't have to necessarily get up and go to class. The class at night's not bad either. It's just right before Big Brother comes on and I really like, I really anticipate watching Big Brother the whole time I'm in class. So 
<laughs> how much harder are college classes versus high school classes really not I'm only a freshman and I I would guess I would say that my major is probably easier than other majors considering I'm in film I majored in it so I think it's more fun I guess maybe it's not necessarily easier but like AP classes it's definitely easier than AP like AP is just no I don't believe in AP sorry no it's ridiculous it's ridiculous this has absolutely nothing to do with college and you know my life well I guess it, do it does have to do with my life I did say and life a bunch of people are asking about a boyfriend <laughs> Oh my gosh. Someone literally said you met a boyfriend yet with you lonely beep. <laughs> um No. Considering all the guys in high school were like very very questionable. Sorry not sorry. I was never really interested in being in a relationship. Right now I'm focused on my self and self-love because I've kind of been struggling. I really don't want to get into a relationship until I'm fully like oh my god I'm a queen you know which I'm getting there you know. If something came along I wouldn't like I wouldn't say no, but right now I'm focused on myself. And I'm not really the person who is like, I need a boyfriend. Sometimes it'd be nice, but like, I really like also don't care that much. I'm waiting for the right person. I'm kind of picky, but maybe that's just because all the guys in high school were. <laughs> yeah, apparently you guys want to know what my type is. Ideally someone who is either creative or smart, someone who's very ambitious and hardworking is very important to me because I want to achieve big things and like I'd really like it if that person was also like had that mindset, you know? So we could go be bosses together, you know, travel the world, do all these cool things, get a nice house, invest, all these things. <laughs> Someone who's also very kind and romantic. Someone who's funny. Someone who will put up with my Disney obsession. Someone who want to travel the world with me. Someone who likes kids. I'm not going to date just a date. I'm not saying I'm going to get married to the person I date. But, you know, that's kind of like... That's kind of why I would date, is if I see a future with them. So, you know, you gotta like kids, you know? You gotta want to travel, you gotta be real ambitious, you gotta be really sweet. Spontaneous, I think, is really fun. I really just want to, like, be like, oh, let's just, like, go on a trip next weekend. <laughs> I've actually done a bunch of like card reading videos on YouTube. I've watched a bunch. Some come up on my TikTok for you page. Every single one say who I'm gonna end up with is a brunette. That they're tall and muscular. Oh, that's another thing. I'd really like them to be tall because I am kind of tall. Muscles are nice. Not necessary, but they're nice. Then brown or green eyes. So we'll see about that. You know, that also does describe Shawn Mendes. So I'm not complaining. <laughs> On the topic of boyfriends, someone said favorite song, and right now it's been Wonder by my man Sean Mendes, you know, my hubby. <laughs> I also want to apologize for not posting much. Honestly, right now, I'm just kind of very lost. I've also been on my self-love journey. I've been kind of in my feels about stuff like my acne, all that, and I don't exactly want to show that on camera. So yeah, I've been in a really weird place. One minute, I'm feeling like a boss queen, you know, singing New York and wearing like fake diamonds, you know, and the next minute, I'm like, my feels about stuff you know about the future the unknown everything going on in this country <laughs> my acne my mind is like spinning if i don't post as much i really don't know what to post so please give me some ideas because i'm not even like i'm in college but i'm really not you know once life is back to normal i have so many fun things to share I'm supposed to go to california do a bunch of film stuff you know do tours go to disneyland I really want to go to Canada so I can see Camp Rock because they actually have a real Camp Rock. I will definitely be doing so many exciting things. Traveling, going to college, having a great you know, Gucci time there, and then having an internship at Disney World. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's kind of my life update. You know, I'm just going through it, but I'm also like, you know, I'm also doing very well. I'm lucky to be at the place where I am right now, you know, with everything happening in the world right now. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this film. What, what's to enjoy? I mean, you know what? Maybe you missed me. Maybe you missed me. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my face. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads. I really am. Like, ugh. I just need to figure out my life at this point. Like, eh. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will hopefully, 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 hopefully see you guys in my next video. Bye!